happening. So, I have another IT video to make here. So, this is very similar to the other server I built, the last one, the Dell R740, uh, the SQL server, the database server. Uh, so this is actually going to be a domain controller slash file server upgrade. It's kind of like, it's not the primary file server, but sort of like a backup, but its primary function is going to be a domain controller. Um, so the other one I actually had was a uh, single processor. So this one's going to be built almost exactly the same way. You know, I'm going to have a boot drive, I'm going to have uh, some 480s and 960s. Um, the same thing. You're going to have the, what's it called, a RAID 1 with a hot spare, uh, 400 gig, that will be the boot drive, and the data drive will be 960 and RAID 1 with a hot spare. Um, let's see if I can... Oh, didn't have the screws. Doesn't have the caddy screws. Um, yeah, see, it's missing little screws. I don't know, maybe they're in, the, in a bag or something. Yeah, they're kind of unique screws. They're, they're like a a um, like a tapered head, a recessed taper head, like a countersunk head, countersunk screw. Um, so hopefully that came. There's a screw pack of that in there. So actually, let's open this up. Look at that. This thing. Actually, I can't remember how much RAM is in here. Okay, so this actually one has. It looks like uh, an external RAID controller. Um, or is that a SAS controller? Not sure. Whereas the other one actually had a hardware RAID controller with the battery backup right here. You know, it has its own cache memory. So, um, that's interesting. And it should be redundant power supplies. Four NIC. So these are actually great for VMware. But this is just going to be a dedicated server. It's actually going to be upgraded for an existing domain controller. Uh, running, uh, I don't know what size these are. These are 16 gig. So, um, so 16 gig, what is that? Uh, 1632, 32, 32, so it's like 96, 96 gig of RAM. Uh, it doesn't need a lot of RAM. I mean, it's not really like a, it's like I said, it's just a domain controller, so it does Windows logins, holds like the Active Directory database. Um, it is a bit, file server, even file servers don't need a lot of power, so um, interesting that's dual, dual CPU, but. Yeah, this is actually not going to be a, a high performer just because it doesn't have that RAID controller. You know, it's on cache memory, battery backup. Um, well, I don't think this could be a... I mean, let me open it up and see what it is. It's curious. I don't normally see these externally. Um, maybe it is a RAID controller. It does, that looks like a battery cache right there. What's weird is why did they use this versus buy the onboard? This was actually a used server that came off eBay. Um, but how come they actually use an external controller when they could have just used the onboard controller? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Well, once I fire this up, I'll see what model this is and it will tell me. I mean, I'll see if it's worth it, but I don't know. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to put Windows Server 2022 on here. Um, so like I said, it's just upgrading and replacing the existing domain control that's been running for years and years. It just, well, it's funny, the hardware is fine in that. I could, we probably could just reuse the server um, and just reinstall Windows on it. But we needed to put a new version of uh, Windows on that was going to be supported because I think it was running a uh, Windows Server 2012. So, um, like R2 or something like that. But it was, I, I, made, I made this server a long, long time ago. I mean, I've been working on IT for, for since I was 15 years old, 30 years or whatever. Or more, I don't know. Um, all right, so all right, I got to figure out the screw situation, and uh, all right, I'm gonna get the drives in. We'll fire it up, get the Windows on there. And, and part of the process, like the other server, I go through and I upgrade all the firmware on the, on the machine. You know, the DRAC controller, the lifecycle controller, 
Ray, hopefully if I can figure out the Ray controller, the onboard, the NIC, the NIC firmware, the, the fan management system has power. Back in the day, the, the, the backplane also, the SCSI backplane, would actually have its own firmware too. But yeah, something odd about this. It's called a Perk H730P. We can see it in the thing here. And um, so there's no way to create a RAID on it, so you have to go back and go to uh, controller management down to, I was just kind of playing with it to see what the hell was going on. Uh, advanced controller management, I want to switch this to RAID mode. And then it looks like I have to reboot it, so it kind of sucks. This thing take forever to boot up. Alright, so today's a new day. Got Windows 2, the server, we're on the server th Windows Server 2022 installed. Um, going to do some Windows updates. Go to the customer site. Promote the thing as a domain controller. And do some file management stuff. So, alright, it's pretty done. Pretty cool server. Actually, I like these servers. Right now, you can kind of get them at a better deal. But they make great Hyper-V server, Hyper-V and uh, VMware. So, alright, cool.